Jim, we've been talking San Diego State men's basketball as well here recently because practice is back underway as they get ready for November and the 24-25 season. It's great to catch up right now with J.D. Luster, San Diego State men's basketball assistant, getting ready for his fourth season. It's hard to believe that. Fourth season on the Mesa. Back with us here on John and Jim, San Diego Sports 760. Coach, we always appreciate your time, so thanks for doing it. And secondly, how has the team looked so far? Back on the Mesa over the last couple of weeks, how has practice been going? Uh, John, I want to say first, thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate you and love your show and what you do for our program. So can't thank you enough. Um, I'm, ex I'm extremely excited about our, our new group. You know, uh, one thing about the group is they're new. You know, we lost six of our main rotation guys and we got a lot of new faces, a lot of young guys. And it's, it's been a new energy in the, in the, on, in the room as far as on the court. So I'm excited to see these young guys grow and continue to take the steps as we get closer and closer to the season. Who's sticking out to you in practice uh, among the new players that have been brought in here? Um, to be honest, you know, everybody's had their days. You know, Taj DeGreville, the freshman that's coming from uh, Vegas, is, was really good yesterday. You know, Farrell's had some days where he's been really good. Farrell Compton, who's also going to be a freshman. Uh, we got Magoon, who's a redshirt freshman, who's, you know, I think he has a chance to be really good at seven feet. He could do a lot of different things. His versatility on both ends of the floor is something that you just don't really see. Um, our transfer, Jared, uh, Jared Coleman Jones today, I mean, he had a really good day. He shot the three ball well. So, um, I can't just say one guy. I think, uh, Everybody's kind of had their days where they were really good. And, you know, I think that's the exciting thing about our team is I think we will have depth. J.D. Lester, San Diego State men's basketball assistant with us right now on John and Jim. So, you know, I know Dutch has talked about this. Like, it's it's exciting because you really have a whole new group. You have some returnees. But when you have this many new faces, you know, seven, eight, nine scholarship student athletes what is the key like to make this thing gel what are going to be some of the keys because you think back to maybe some of the previous iterations of san diego state and you've had more return ease this team has some more newcomers so what are going to be those keys um i think the, the key is you know it, it, it makes it a lot easier when you have an established program and an established culture you know coach dutcher has been here for 25 years uh dave velasquez has been here for 22 years uh, Matt Surrey has been here for 24 years. So, you know, we have a lot of guys who've been here who've helped establish this culture and tradition here at San Diego State. So it's just a matter of getting these new guys acclimated to how we do things here, which is, you know, we play hard. We pride ourselves on being the hardest playing team every single night. We pride ourselves on defense. We pride ourselves on uh, rebounding. So those have been the staples, and then just getting these guys up to speed on you know, those three things. And then I think you build from there. But our foundation always going to be playing extremely hard, uh, defense, de defending, and then uh, rebounding. So you know, those are the things that we're, we've been you know uh, harping on right now. And then everything else is kind of icing on the cake as we keep building and and the foundation is set. Rosters always change in college, especially now with the transfer portal even more than ever. Um, but the last couple of years, this Aztecs team has had a core of players that have been here in college terms for a long time. And this year, you know, you have some returning players, but for the most part, it's a, it's a pretty new cast of characters. For you as a coach, how is it, how exciting is it to be able to have a new group of players and to be able to coach them and see what they can do uh, going forward? I think when you have, uh, like over the past few years, when you have the same core, um, it's a gift and a curse, so to speak. You know, we had guys that have won multiple league championships. We had guys who have been to national championship game, guys who've been to Sweet Sixteens before, guys who won the Mountain West tournament before. So, you know, in a lot of ways, that motivation was different for those guys. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't the same motivation to go win league because they've already done it multiple times. You know, they've already won conference tournaments. So, you know, at at times during the year last year, it was like as as a coaching staff, we got to keep them all balanced. We got to, you know, find different ways to motivate them and get them, to, you know, to, to keep that drive and that fire alive. And now we got a new group. And it's like every day they come in and they're excited. They're excited to, you know, make their own mark on the program. Now, now we have some guys like Miles Bird who's been a part of those teams, but he, he didn't have a big role or he wasn't one of the main staples on, on, on those teams. So now he's excited to be able to be in that role. You know, we got new guys that haven't won Mountain West League championships. They're excited to do it. So you can feel that new excitement with the new guys and, 
you know, you can feel that energy every day, and it's been fun to be around. J.D. Luster is the San Diego State men's basketball assistant. He's with us right now on John and Jim. So as you know, Coach, there aren't a ton of Division One players out of San Diego. You were one of them. Wayne McKinney is out of San Diego. Coronado played at USD, is now transferred across town to San Diego State. Um, what have you seen from Wayne, um, who's played a ton of college basketball? He's won a lot of games, been a big-time player and scorer. Uh, is there is there a unique relationship between you and him, a couple of San Diegans, and now he's got a chance to be on the Mesa? Of course, you're coaching at San Diego State. I mean, he, he definitely uh, has a special place in my heart for being a San Diegan and being a San Diego kid. Um, I recruited him a little bit when I was at Pacific mm-hmm. when he was in high school. Uh, but now that he's here, I'm so happy to have him part of our program. I think Wayne does a lot of great things on the floor, and he's an unbelievable kid off the floor. So, you know, he's high character. He's everything that we look for in the Aztec, and, you know, I'm excited to have him here. He's been good. You know, he he's really good defensively. I think you'll see some of the same things you've seen out of Lamont Butler as far as, like, his ability to frustrate guys, to pick up guys 94 feet. Um, he's extremely athletic. Like, he's underrated, I think, in that sense. He can really uh, play a Above the rim at his size, and he's a guy who's who scored a lot of points at this level. So uh, we'll need that from him this year. You mentioned Magoon Gwath. It's, I feel like to Aztecs fans, he's like an unknown. Like he's like a little bit of a mystery player. You don't really you, you see like the potential because of his size, and a lot of people are talking about him. But you know, we haven't seen him on the court yet in game action. What has he shown you in practice specifically that you see? Okay, that right there is going to help us immensely going forward for this year and for years to come, hopefully. Um, I think Magoon, you know, the thing that everybody got to just remember and keep in mind that he that he will be a freshman, mm-hmm. you know. So with freshmen, you it's just usually they have their highs and their lows. You know, there's valleys and peaks with freshmen. And I think right now at practice, you see that some days he's really good. And then there's some days where he's, he struggles a little bit. And that's part of his process, part of the journey has been a freshman. So, um, absolutely, he's a big-time player. He has a chance to be really good. But he is only a freshman. But the things he do offensively and defensively, his versatility, his size, being seven foot and being able to play out on the perimeter, being able to put it on the floor, being able to shoot threes. And then on defense, he can anchor the defense and block shots. So he could do a lot. He's versatile on both ends of the floor. But um, it's going to be a learning curve. You know, I think by, you know, end of December, early January, once we get in the league, I think that's when he'll be really hitting his stride and really getting comfortable. J.D. Luster with us right now on John and Jim. So, Coach, you head up the recruiting efforts for San Diego State. How has this all changed, even in this brief period of time, from maybe you getting on campus in 2021 to where we are now, both prep recruiting with the high school players, but also obviously the portal and the way NIL plays a role? Like, How is your job changing and evolving over the years as college athletics is changing and evolving? Man, that's a loaded question. Uh, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Uh, I'll try to break that down as best as I can. Um, really, you know, for San Diego State, we recruit high school kids. We believe in recruiting high school kids. We believe that, you know, the high school kids kind of help set our foundation. They help uh, set our culture. And when we do bring in transfers, they, they're kind of like the liaisons between us and those new players. So they're the ones telling them, you know, this is how we do things. This is how we guard. This is how we – we uh this is how we carry ourselves on and off the court. So the high school guys in our program is extremely important and we'll continue to recruit high school kids for that reason. We more so use the transfer portal as a way to fill holes in the roster. So if we need a shooter, we'll go in the portal to get a shooter. If we need a shot blocker, we'll go in the uh the portal to get a shot blocker. But we believe in high recruiting high school and we believe that they're uh, a crucial component to the success of our program. So we'll continue to do that. And when we bring in four high school kids in one class, I think those days are over. I think at the most to be three, most years probably two. But we do believe in recruiting high school kids. Now with the portal and NIL, um, it's changed things tremendously. You know, uh, a lot of times in that portal, uh, it's more about, you know, how much you're willing to pay a guy or how much they're looking for to be paid. And, um, here at San Diego State, you know, our philosophy is we, we don't lead with NIL. We don't talk NIL. We talk about, you know, your character. We talk about how you fit within our program, within our system. And if all those things align, then um, you can talk to our collective and go from there. But it's not something we lead with. It's not something that we're, we're like, out here just shopping and, and, and leading with financially. So 
Um, I appreciate that about Coach Dutcher. You know, he keeps he keeps the main thing the main thing, and he keeps these kids' uh, well being and their future at, at the forefront. And it, it's not just transactional or about a dollar sign. That's really good insight about where the program is right now. One more coach before you go. I mean, could you have envisioned this personally for you? You know, you get here three years ago, San Diego State's 81 and 27. They've been to the NCAA tournament three consecutive years. You were there for a national championship game and a Sweet 16 the very next year. I'm sure you had high hopes when you got back to San Diego. How enjoyable have these three years been to watch the, the team's success? To be a San Diego and to grow up here in San Diego and, you know, for me, it's been completely like just. It's been hard to put into words. You know, it's a different pride I put I, I put into putting on that San Diego State uh, logo every single day, and to be able to see San Diego State in the national championship, to be able to see us in the Sweet Sixteen and get the national recognition that we've been able to garnish over the last few years, um, it's 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 hard to uh, put into words, and it's just really a testament to God, and I just. I'm so uh, fortunate and so blessed, and I just give all the glory to God for just allowing me to be a part of this uh, journey with uh, Coach Dutcher and Aztecs. An amazing run. San Diego State men's basketball is on, has been on, will continue to be on into the future as well. J.D. Lester, we really appreciate you taking time for us. We're looking forward to this fall, obviously. Hopefully we can do it again before the start of the season, and, and thanks for joining us here on the Home of the Aztecs. Yes, sir. Thank you. God bless. All right, J.D. Luster, San Diego State men's basketball Assistant on the other side.